Welcome back to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this multi-part video, we're going to get into Frame Relay. So Frame Relay is, uh, you probably won't see it in too many modern networks right now. It's sort of being supplanted by Metro Ethernet and, and other technologies, DSL, cable modems, lots of other stuff. It's, it's kind of a old technology, but just in case you run into it, um, you have to know it, and it's still on the Cisco test, so you definitely have to know it to pass to get your certification. So we're going to learn how to, in this particular video, just set up frame relay from the GNS perspective. So how to set up the frame relay switch and set up the routers, which is, is actually pretty easy. So we're at our, our beginning GNS page. I'm looking at my node types on my left hand side. I'm just going to drag two 2691 routers into my screen. And conveniently, GNS3 has given us a frame relay switch. We're going to pop that in the middle. And I'm going to get rid of my node type screen right there. So normally in a uh, Cisco textbook, you will see that when, when you're playing around with frame relay, you're going to have your routers, and then you're going to have a cloud-looking thing in between the routers. So in addition to the cloud looking thing, you're going to have some type of DELC number connected to each router link. So uh, router 0 might have DELC 110 and router 1 might have DELC 120. So these are layer 2, you can think of them as layer 2 addresses, well th they pretty much are layer 2 addresses and it lets the telephone company, telephone company is the, the ones that control the frame relay, it lets them know where to route things. So in the middle is actually a frame relay switch, but you as a customer wouldn't really care or you wouldn't technically see the frame relay switch. You would just see it as a cloud. Okay, so we've got our two routers, we've got a frame relay switch. You'd right click on the frame relay switch and you click configure. Cool deal. We got our frame relay switches. I'm going to expand this out a bit. Okay, so you're looking here, it's giving us port and DELC numbers, port and DELC numbers. So let's say we want, let's say port 1 gives us DELC number 101. And let's say port 2 gives us port 202. I'm going to click Add there and click OK. Now what I do is I'm going to add a link. Make it a manual link. Oh, and actually before we do that, we should probably make our routers have a serial link. That would probably be good. So I'm going to configure my router. Click R0, go into slots, go into my WIC, add a WIC1T, and go over to this other router, go configure, go into slots, WIC 0 and a WIC 1T. T is a serial interface. So we go back, we're going to add a link, always have it on manual. So we're going to click here, click on 000, click over here, connect it up to our frame relay switch. We're going to pick number 1. We're going to go over to the other router, 000. Go over to the switch, and guess what we're going to pick? Yes, we're going to pick port 2. Awesome. Going to deselect on our wonderful interface tool. Show host names. Show connections. So the way this is going to work is since this router is connected on port 1 of the frame relay switch, any frame relay configurations I'm doing on here is going to have a DELC number of 101. Also on router 0, any frame relay stuff I do here is going to be DELC 202. So that's pretty much it. After, after we set this up, well, we're set up now, we would click play, go into our console window, and that's when you would do like frame relay map and uh, in 
in-cap frame relay and do all that other stuff. But as far as this video is concerned, setting this up inside of GNS3, it's pretty easy. Drag your routers in there, drag your frame relay switch, set up the ports by right-clicking on the switch and configure. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pick your ports. So port 1, I did port 2, add. You could change the Delsys however you want and you're off and running. All right, so stay tuned for our next video. In our next video, we'll actually configure the routers to talk to each other and ping each other over Frame Relay. Thanks for watching.